Hey you guys, the blogger back again with the review of the products I won from foreignandmary.com. Thank you Art and Nina, you're wonderful people. <clears throat> you have a wonderful store, great giveaways, <clears throat> excuse me, a great channel. Now from, you saw my unboxing, so I took a couple of things out like the stove, the gum, the napkin and stuff like that. Stuff that like I can't really eat, like the flameless ration heaters. But I got my spoon, I got this, which I translated, it's Russian, comes out to sausage, canned meat sausage, so I'll be giving that a try. This is albacore tuna, which I will not be trying, I'm going to give it away, I don't eat fish, I don't like fish, fish is gross, so, see if my daughter will eat it, she likes it, and this is some... Um, I believe it says it's from Poland. Chocolate. Mm. Yeah, from Poland. So, I will be trying this chocolate. 60% cocoa. Uh, alcohol free antibacterial wipes. Orange beverage based powder drink. In UK. Mm, there we go. Hard tack crackers. Or I sweeten condensed milk in a tube. Be trying this water, Seven Oceans. It says it's the emergency drinking water, so I want to try that. This translate. I can't really translate this. I don't know what language it is. I mean, I've tried a dozen languages and stuff. If you know, let me down below. But I just believe it's either a drink or a soup mix. So we'll be mixing that up and trying it. This was a lemon flavored beverage powder. Like a Gatorade almost kind of deal, but we'll mix it up and see what it tastes like. And this is some canned cheese spread. So. Got all this stuff in the picture. The shot, okay. I am going to get some water for these drink mixes and we'll be right back. Okay, you guys, let's get our orange beverage base powder first. Mix. Oh, turn off to let this in. So, and shoot. Wait 45 grams. Dry in store, cool place. Um. I don't know how much water to add to this, so I'm just going to do my best to guess or whatnot. I'll use this glass. Seems like a lot of drink powder. So, let's get some water in there. I'm guessing that should be okay. Like I said, I don't know how much water to add. The packet didn't really say. Or if it did, I'm not understanding how much it said. Oh wow, yeah, that needs a lot more water. This took like a little spoonful and it like super potent. So that took a <laughs> A glass and a half of water, so oh, that's better. Set that off to the side. Get our lemon beverage powder here. Turn off is on the side here. Sorry about the lighting, guys. I lost a little bit of light. It's a clear powder. Yeah, just that little kind of powder, so we add a little bit of water to it. Like that. Like half a cup. So. Just 
a little taste. Mm. Yeah, that should be fine. I'm sure that wasn't meant to have much water in. So this one, it feels maybe like an instant soup mix. I'm guessing. So let's tear it open. Yeah, yeah, these are this. So yeah, it's a drink mix, I guess. Like little purple pellets. Smells really good, kind of like a raspberry flavor. So I couldn't translate it. I don't know until I'm going to drink it. That's about a cup of water. So about eight ounces. I can't whistle you guys so I can't make any noises. <laughs> but yes, mixing up nicely. Okay, save that to the side. Let's Open up our canned meat sausage, as it was. It smells like sausage. It's a, a pate, I know that. Very thick. That's a little bit of juice in it, not much. But that should spread nicely. Sorry about my daughter in the background, you guys. She's out playing and active and all kinds of crazy stuff. Let's open up this cheese. Oh yes, yeah, that's, that's cheese all right. Looks like it's separated a little bit, so I'm going to, uh, uh, yeah, give this a good stir. You gotta expect stuff like this from processed cheese. And that's why most places give it to you in a little tube so you can knead it like that. Because this is like very, very difficult to mix like this, you guys, you know? It smells like processed cheese bread. I've had it a lot, so I know. <laughs> yeah. Maybe I should have kept a little bit of soap out, but now. Nah. <laughs> I know it's more like a fondue cheese, but that's okay. It's cheese is cheese. Okay, now let's open up our hard tack crackers. Yeah. With like wheat spice. That is a solid brick, you guys. Solid brick. And our sweetened condensed milk. Ooh, look at that. Go ahead, put a little bit on our cracker because I want to try it like that. So, what, giving the wife some here on the side. Right, first we'll try the cracker with the sweetened condensed milk. Mm. Oh my gosh, I thought I broke my tooth on that. This is definitely herb, but oh my gosh, that is like it's not even crispy, it's like stale crispy. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna try some cheese on it. The the sweet condensed milk tastes very, very delicious, by the way, on the cracker. But let's put the, the cheese on the cracker. Mm. Mm. Hey guys, that, oh my gosh, like very difficult to chew. Those crackers are like, they taste old and stale, but they're still edible. They don't have an off flavor or nothing, they just taste like they've been sitting out. Just a beverage here. Yeah, it's like a raspberry flavor. It's like super light and um, 
unflavorful. I guess it only needs like an ounce of water maybe. I'm not sure. But let's give this sausage a try. See how it's going to taste. It smells alright, I mean... Yeah, that's not bad, I mean... It tastes like sausage. Ground up, meated sausage. Not bad at all. A little bit of that. A little bit of cheese. See how that goes together. Mm. And that's a good combination, guys. Mm. Okay, you guys, I had to get some regular saltines. Those crackers are like uh, unedible, I say. I'm sorry, but those are so stale and hard. I mean, I'm still going to eat them later, but I'm going to try and soften them up somehow. Maybe soak them in you know, a little bit of beef broth or something. But to get the full effect of this cheese and this meat, I'm going to need some fresh crackers, some saltines. Yeah. I don't know if you guys know what cheese whiz or easy cheese is for people in America, but that's exactly what that tastes like. And there's canned meat, there's canned sausage meat that's ground up and pateed. Tastes really good, it's smooth texture, it's creamy. Got a great flavor. Mm. Yeah, I will be finishing that. <laughs> it's really, really good. So, let's put some of this, you know, a little taste of our lemon isotonic drink. Yeah, that got a good lemon salty flavor for if you're dehydrated, working way lots. <sighs> some sweet condensed milk on this cracker here. Oh, yeah. Mm. Sorry, this review is taking so long, guys. I had paused the video for a while, a couple of times. Now I'm gonna give this water a try. See how this tastes. I don't know if it's regular water or saline water, but I'm about to find out. Oh yeah, that's clean drinking water. Oh yeah, that was delicious. That's good clean water, man. It probably would have been good with that raspberry flavored drink. Maybe that would have been just the right amount for it. Now, for our final item we're going to try, we're going to try this Polish chocolate. Get that open. Is 60% cocoa powder, so it's a high chocolate content, and I like good chocolate. No blooming, no discoloration. Got a good, smooth, creamy flavor. It's not too sweet. You get all the full flavor of the chocolate with it, though. So I get that in camera focus, you guys. But yeah, that, that is really good dark chocolate. Now I want to put a little sweet condensed milk on it. Sweeten it up some. Mmm. 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 And that sweet condensed milk just makes that chocolate all the better. I love my chocolate sweet and tangy. Uh, sweet and creamy, so cleanse my palate real quick with a cracker. And give our last drink. 
uh, orange beverage based powder. And that tastes like a good tang. But I want to thank you all for watching. Thank you to Art Nina for this wonderful gift of random surprises to try. Sorry, I won't be eating the tuna. I do not like fish. Every time I taste fish or seafood product, the moment it hits the back of my tongue, it tastes like pure rot. I'm not even kidding. It, it just makes me vomit. I don't know what it is. Just my taste buds. I'm telling you, it's my taste buds that make it so I don't like seafood. But thank you for watching. Thank you to Art Nina at foreignmre.com. They're wonderful, awesome people. Thank you for all these wonderful goodies and treats. They're all very delicious, except for these crackers. I'm sorry, but they're bad. They are out of code, it looks like. Second month of the 18th day of 22. I don't know, they're in code, but they're hard and stale, like they've old and sat out for a while. You know, like you left a pack of crackers open, and they turn hard and still. That's what these are like. But everything else, everything else on here was delicious, good, tasted fresh. It was awesome. Thank you guys. Please come back for my next video. Like, subscribe, leave a comment, and we'll see y'all later. <laughs> Thanks. Bye. Oh, yeah, go check out foreignmre.com. Link down in the description below. Crafting with Tabitha and all the other reviewers I have on my list. Later.